everybody. Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm with Kat Cunning tonight. How are you doing? I'm so good. I'm very excited that you're here. You've had a, a big year, and you've got a big year coming up. I believe you're filming right now for season three of The Deuce. I am, yes. That's really exciting. And that was your television debut. It was. And HBO, right away. Yeah. Not even like a late night commercial or like a, you know. No, but don't get me wrong. I was trying for a late night infomercials this whole time. I just kept getting turned down. What kind of things have you auditioned for? The one thing I did book was for towels, very soft towels. How soft? I danced around in towels and I fell into a pile of towels and I was like, oh, these are so soft. And that was the commercial. I want to buy them. I honestly, you sold it. Honestly, it's a pretty erotic commercial. It's, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm turned on. Yeah. So um, um, yes, it was my TV debut. And then I was soft, like, soft, but hard. Oh, you did it. You fit in there. It's okay. <laughs> the Deuce was my TV debut, and I went up to David Simon, and I was like, I love you so much. And he was like, I don't know how I feel about you, lukewarm. And then I ended up in season three, and I'm so happy about it. That's awesome. Yeah. Not only that, but you are going to be acting in Trinkets coming out on Netflix this summer. Yes. And your music is in it. Yes. So Trinkets was a super thrilling experience because Kiwi Smith, who's one of the major producers and writers on the project, is one of my idols. She wrote 10 Things I Hate About You, which is like basically the Bible of rom-coms. And I did my best to channel Heath Ledger in my role. So you'll have to tell me whether or not it worked out. Um, but yeah, I was able to play two of my songs in it. So you actually get to perform the music on the show as well? Yeah, as I do it? actually, yeah. It's an integral part of my characters storytelling so how did this all happen like what is your story because it, it, you've had great success um and to be able to do music and acting it almost seems like they're like co-equal right now i think it was a long time of like specifying exactly the kind of person i am like i never was quite a broadway singer and i never was quite the blonde girl they were looking for for a show and i never was quite Same. You know, it's rough. It's rough out here. Um, and I think that, like, it was a perfect trifecta of a long enough time only being able to be myself that they sort of, like, came together. And people were like, okay, you loving you is cool. You having the body you have is cool. You having the strange voice you have is cool. And um, not trying to change it was a big um, benefit for me, although it took a lot of nose rejection, in other words. I was going to ask if your nose, like, it took a lot of my nose. That's beautiful. And you were in Sleep No More, which is a show that I'm familiar, I've heard of. You haven't seen it yet? Side note, I, like, I've performed at McKitchick Hotel, but I've, I did not go through Sleep No More. I have a couple of the masks, though. Okay, great. Yeah, you got to steal the masks. You have to. You got to have the masks. Yeah, I really love that space, and it, the community of performers that perform there are my favorite performers in the city because they're just, like, they're the actors of dancers. And I originally was a dancer, and I think that... Um, acting is the part of dance that got me to where I am. And Wait, can so, you show us the, the leg thing again? Oh, yeah, I'll stretch for you. You want to see me stretch? I mean, that's why I'm here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you, see, you see that? That Probably is... At least look at him. Just so you know, it was by my ear. That was, that was all right. That was all right. <laughs> uh, so, well, you've got a new single coming out called yeah. Birds. Yeah. And prior to the interview, you told me that you don't like birds when I asked you <laughs> what your favorite one was. So I don't know, was that... True or not? So I mostly was just trying to scare you a little bit. Oh, Mission complete. Yeah. <laughs> but I also am genuinely um, not super specifically into birds. I did um, fulfill a, a Portland, Oregon stereotype by getting this tattoo when I was 18 years old. So you have a tattoo of a bird. But I hate birds. So here's the thing. I will fill in the blanks for you. Um, I don't like real birds. I love the metaphor of a bird because a bird is... In, in poetry and literature is usually stuck in a cage. A bird usually feels free by vocalizing. So yeah, but okay, so tell us about the single. The, the lyric that I repeat most often is all these birds. birds, all these birds in my head. And then I say, get out of my head. So the image Hitchcock. of the bird, yeah, very much so. That's at least the closest reference that already exists for what birds are in that story. It's sort of like the idea of an overwhelming feeling of anxiety or insomnia or um, just in general being feeling like you're not in control. Well, that's awesome. And you've also, you've got a bunch of songs that are, uh, have had a good amount of success online. Uh, I think Stay On The Line. Mm -hmm. um, Wild Poppies, mm -hmm. which I first read as Wild Puppies. And it's okay. It's an inside joke. 
Is it? Running with wild puppies. Yeah, for sure. I mean, not the song. The song is a very serious uh, uh, love letter to The Wizard of Oz. But um, also, I'm not against making fun of it and calling it wild puppies because it's what it sounds like when I sing it. So You've got uh, Birds coming out, which is going to be, I believe, on your debut EP. Yeah, it's part of it. And what can you tell us about that? And for people that don't know your music, how would you describe it? Sort of fall into an alt alternative pop world I like believe firmly in calling my music pop because pop music is what makes my like heart crack open when I hear a really well-structured song that is optimistic and like not necessarily the message is optimistic but I think pop has an amazing job of um giving you a place to find who you are like it tends to be a fairly optimistic genre and what do you think of dust um I love dust I have so much dust on me right now Dusty, like dusty clothes. My form of dust. <laughs> my form of dust is cat hair. Um, yep. I actually have a cat hair roller with me right now. So dust is cool by me. I'm here in full support of the whole thing. So pop music cracks your heart open. You're covered in cat hair. And then what else <laughs> about your music should we know? I tend to fall into a hole of singing about love. All my songs end in the metaphor of suicide, which sometimes is actually a metaphor for orgasm, which I think Ooh. is cool. And also every once in a while I write something that's bigger than that about all people for all people. And I think Birds is one of those songs, which is why I'm super excited about it, because it's not specifically about sex or a fairy tale. It's just about feeling, um, feeling like you're alone and having a hard time. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Songs that hopefully you'll like. <laughs> yes. It's got fairy tales, sex, suicide, and birds. <laughs> you know, dark And pop. then all of the things that you like also. Do we get to know what the EP's called? Do you know yet? I don't know yet. I'm toying with some titles and they're all real bad. So I Can we hear a few? <laughs> okay. Real, real late one night, I was like, I've got it, you guys. <laughs> Catalyst. <laughs> Because your name is Cat. Are you going to spell it with you a K? You get it? I was like, wow, this pun because of my name is so great. Of course I was going to spell it with a K, yes. Of course. But no, I don't have a title yet. I think I need to really like listen to the full EP at once and see what the story is. You know what I mean? What would you think about wild puppies? Yeah, I, I will consider it for sure. Just to confuse people. I mean, kind of like trolling yourself and then cat, but puppies? Yeah. <laughs> Cat puppies. I love that. I was also today, I was toying with the idea of cat foolery. Cat foolery. Yeah. I don't know. They're all really bad ideas. And if you keep talking to me, they're just going to roll off the domes. What other bad ideas do you have? No, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't just improv with them, but I'm bad at things like painting my nails. Oh, I see. You missed a little bit. Yeah. I've decided to embrace it. Like I don't have the patience for the right hand. Yeah. You know, why color in the lines? That's what you I'm know? trying to say. Probably because you know? nail polish. Why needs pay your bills? You know why do why do these pe these birds? Yeah, that's what I'm You know, I'm keeping me up at night. Gah, gah, I can't take it. That's what it's like. Just crows. Yeah, no, nah, uh, I can't. Uh, <laughs> my depressing mom, fact. Let me tell you, my mom has a tattoo of a crow on her back. She got a tattoo when I was a little kid, and I was very resentful of her because I was like, "You're not supposed to be cool." But the tattoo had uh, it was very realistic, except for one eye on the side of its head that was a cartoon I, <laughs> and it seemed as if it looked directly at the viewer. It was very, very scary. That's spooky. That's spooky. So that might actually be where the song Birds came from. A spooky crow always watching you, but also with like a goofy cartoon googly eye. <laughs> yeah, the juxtaposition <laughs> was deeply terrifying. And what's, what else is going to be coming up for you this year? I'm just waiting for my phone to ring. Just kidding. Um, I'm finishing up the deuce. And I am, I have a show coming up right now at like, not right now, but very soon, April 17th at elsewhere, um, zone one, come see it. It's going to be so very good. And also like this week I'm going to London and beyond that I'm bad at remembering stuff. So just stay tuned, you know, follow the Instagram. I'll update you about it. And, and dance is actually an interesting thing that we didn't talk about. This seems like another, you know, triple threat, big part of your career. Yeah, I, I grew up dancing. It was the thing that I focused on the most, like very, very hardcore up until a small number of years ago. And then I realized that I wanted to use my voice more, both as a singer and an actor, and um, be more of an individual because so much of pursuing dance is about fitting into somebody else's idea 
and sort of being in support of someone else who's the individual in the piece. Um, and so now it's really exciting to be creating music and music videos that feature the dancers that I find to be individual and beautiful and to have a hand in choreographing that so that I still keep dance in my life and in my shows um, and keep the things about it that moved me. That's very beautiful. We'll leave it there. We'll let the music speak for itself. And we'll all tune in for Trinkets on uh, Netflix this summer and The Deuce season three. Yeah. And your yet untitled but probably called Wild Puppies EP, <laughs> your debut EP, expected in the coming months. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, from everybody here at Pop Dust, we'd like to thank you, Pat Cunning, for being here for Pop Dust Presents. It has been my pleasure to be here with you in your one tree. <laughs> now get flossing.